Tchau, Bruno. Até mais. Last week, the insurance agency called me. The car will be declared a total loss. So today, I have to take alternative means of transportation because the forecast is a lot of rain. Good morning. Leg of my trip, I did it by Uber. I came all the way down to Miami Beach because I rented a car since I don't have any, and Fernanda needs to use hers. And the forecast is for rain today, so I couldn't ride my bike. No rain whatsoever at this moment, so now I need to take the car and uh, keep going. And to complete everything that's happening to me, the elevator is stuck. No, the door is not open and no buttons work except the alarm button. Hello? Hello? Hey? Yes? Is anybody in? Yes! Okay, do me a favor, press lobby. Press what? Help. Nothing happens. Huh? Nothing happens. Press. Aperta lá, Eli. Sim, quando eu não não acontece nada. Open the door. No. No. Nothing happens. Não acontece nada. Eu aperto o botão, mas não acontece nada. Okay, when I was a kid, I was stuck in the elevator in the supermarket I, and I was uh, like, I had a phobia for elevator for a long time, but that phobia is gone. Now I'm just pissed off because I'm going to um, be late for my meeting. That was only the 10 minutes uh, and I'm on the wrong floor. It's the fucking car. I found the car. I just lost 10 minutes of my life, but at least I uh, replied some emails, uh, sent some uh, WhatsApp and uh, updated some investors uh, about our project. And which car is mine? Oh, okay. They give me a nice car. I'm going to Palm Beach because last week a friend of mine um, introduced me to um, a builder there. So Friday we had a quick chat back here in uh, Bay Harbor, but he, he was on a hurry so we couldn't talk a lot. So I told him, look, instead of you coming back this afternoon, let me go uh, up to Palm Beach next week. So there, there I'm going, And uh, but first I need to stop at Hollandale because my computer is having problem on the screen again so they are going to change it and going to change it with more stuff and they are going to actually lend me a computer so I don't I don't get stuck for five five days and now today that this time they won't do everything in one day they are going to send to another guy that uh, it looks like some more trained technician and then I'm going to Palm Beach to talk to this builder which is good because he knows a lot from the 
the market there in, uh, in, uh, in Palm Beach, which is a market that I want to enter because luxury homes there sell very, very good. Prepare to keep right at exit 1B after two miles. And it's very nice that they gave me this car. I had rented another one, but they, they didn't have the one that I rented. So they gave me this car, and it's nice because this is actually the car that I'm thinking to, um, it's one of the cars that I'm thinking to get. So it's nice because I'm going to do a pretty good test drive, driving it the whole day. So yeah, that's it, let's go. That took me a little bit more time than expected. It took me half an hour to get their computer, uh, but they were cool enough, nice enough uh, to give me a computer because this is going to take several days and I need to work. If I didn't have to edit all my videos and do all the social media work that I do, I could definitely work from my uh, iPad or my iPhone. But since I need to do that, I need a computer. So I'm already late. Now I'm going to Palm Beach and uh, probably I'm not going to do any B-roll because I need to go fast. And I got here in Palm Beach, it's still with a few minutes left to... In 500 feet, turn left onto Steeple Chase Drive. To pee a little bit and to uh, miss my entrance, I had to do a U-turn. So now I'm going to uh, meet this guy. Uh, probably he's going to show me some property that he built, I don't know. Um, yeah, but it se he seems an, a cool guy, a nice guy. And it's always good to have people with a lot of experience in construction because in the end my job is a develop as a developer uh, it's to find those people and actually be responsible for them because in, when I sell a house or when I need to uh, talk to my investors it's my face so I need to know exactly with whom I'm working with so yeah what I like here in Palm Beach is those big developments that we have, like this one. Take the next left. I need to take the next left, but I won't. I'll just go a little bit further because I want to see a little bit more of this uh, association, this condo. We have big houses, small houses, new houses and looks like this is an equestrian development which is pretty cool it's a, a specific niche from here the other day I talked to a guy that also has a property in an equestrian, uh, equestrian uh, development but in uh, Wellington, near Wellington and here, yeah, there are some Very, very big houses, gigantic houses. That was a conversation that I was having with my wife the other day, that we want to leave the apartment and go to a house, but we, we like to be close to the, uh, close to the, of course, the beach. And if we have to go away from the beach, it won't. It would be only to a place. Oh, a gigantic modern house there, um, like similar to this one where you have like a big house, a big lot where Brownie could uh, have some space to run. And yeah, this is a nice development. So let me go there because I'm uh, already late and I'm taking turns here. Look, this is nice. As you can see, I'm back in Miami, trying to walk the dog and vlog at the same time. And today something very interesting happened. So I went all the way up to 
Palm Beach uh, to talk to a person that was referred to another one about a project that he has in his mind. And he also, he already has the building and uh, he's, he's looking for investors and partners to just finish uh, the plan that he has. And uh, it's, it's a pretty good idea, it's an incredible idea. The best part is that he's willing, of course, to enter the project with his land and his building that he already did. And the investor needs to put the money to finish and to make it work. Downey. Downey's bringing a brand. Which is a great thing because usually people have this great idea in their mind but they don't want to do anything. They don't want to put the money, they don't want to uh, put the land, they don't want to put the building, they just want to, let's say, sell their ideas and their ideas are commodities. I have a lot of ideas during the day and during the week, even sleeping. Hey Brownie, aren't you tired? You're getting me tired for sure. This is your fourth walk today. I give up, it's impossible to walk Brownie. I'm vlogging at the same time, so I'm just gonna go back home with this little dipshit. Uh, the concept of this person is very good, and I get calls and questions and people asking me to uh, present them investor to their big ideas because I have this idea, let's do this, but they are not contributing with anything, as if ideas had a price. Ideas don't have any value. What has value is the execution of that idea, and that I've said before here in this channel. And, and the project that this person want to do, it's very nice. Uh, it's not unique, but it's very nice. Uh, you, can, you can create uniqueness, if that's even a word, to it. Um, it's very, very, very easy to make it a very good deal because uh, it's not about the idea, it's about the execution. And as he was... And as he was actually telling me about his idea and showing me his building and showing everything, I was already thinking about someone. Someone that I met that I don't, that I don't speak with for the last two years, since December 2017, so it's more than two years. And I was, this guy, this guy will love this idea, this guy loves this, this idea. And the person that I was talking to, the guy that I was actually talking to, that was showing me everything, he said, look, um, I want to develop it this this is my building this is my land of course I'm going to put this into the project and I need investors uh, to put the money for the balance and we can develop the, the business from there so what caught my attention was the fact that he wants not to sell his property so someone could develop it he wants to develop it and put his property as his investment so that's that's the great upside or the greater upside that I see this that I see here because he has passion for it, he believes in it, and he's willing to risk everything that he already put there to make it work. And as I was living there, driving one and a half hour down, almost two hours because of traffic, you know who out of the bloom sent me a message? The guy that I was thinking about to present this project. So it's funny how life plays with us because I, I've, I've been wanting to uh, reconnect with this person for a long time and I never, I mean, I never made the effort or I didn't have, I mean, I think you don't have an excuse. I think you don't have to have an excuse to reconnect with someone. You just need to pick up the phone and say, hey, how are you doing? And after he saw one of my contents today, because he saw it, I don't know if he saw the other ones, but he saw one today, he sent me a, mex a message. Hey man, how's it going? And immediately I text him back. Oh my God, the gods are speaking. I was thinking about you the whole afternoon. Let's talk tomorrow. So sometimes we are doing those stuff. We are doing a lot of things and we have a goal, but we question ourselves. Am I doing the right thing? Why I'm doing this? This is not going to go anywhere. And the other day we sleep and you get pumped and you know, I need to do this. And the other day, that's, 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 that's how a life of entrepreneur is, I guess all the ups and downs and but what I'm gonna say is sometimes we just need to keep doing without questioning anything because if you have a plan you just need to execute it don't look to a timeline just focus and do it because you never know when luck will knock on your door and guess what if you don't put a sign on your door 
they will never do so that's that was that was about it today and i'm i'm pretty happy even though look even if this ends up in nothing i'm already i'm already happy because i put a content person replied and this person is actually the one i was thinking about reconnecting and doing business with so i think this i i i i know that i went all over the place to just say that but yeah that's what i'm thinking now i'm going to give a little bit more attention to this brownie are the king brownie he's i don't know i think it was because of the other leash i was he he was using wearing the other leash and he just bitch when that happened so okay let me play with him rest a little bit and work some more because now i'm on beast mode